836 here at Big 550 KTRS. Cal Parks is with us. He is a celebrity chef. He's in a development deal with the Food Network for his own TV show. But until then, he's hanging out with us. Uh, is also hanging out at the Cork and Slice. That is his restaurant. He's an executive chef there. The Cork and Slice Wood Fire Beef Show. He's also a chef for hire. We hired him, and uh, we're getting the menu ready for our um, men's group against cancer party. Oh, I'm so excited about it. But then I hear, oh, we can't have butter. We can't have carbs. I'm like, can we have food? You know? Should I just bring in some McDonald's? What's going to happen? I don't know. Ke- we're going to put Kelly at the kids' table so we can have all the carbs we want. There you go. Uh, all right. What are we talking about today? Uh, well, uh, speaking of dining, we're going to talk about some do's and don'ts of the whole dining oh, thing. Good. Oh, good. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Uh, Look at lay it on like, us. Now, Come on. See, it all started when we were kids, and our mothers would say, don't put your elbows on the table or don't talk with your mouth full. Yes. Uh, But as we've grown up and we've matured as adults and the dining scene has changed, uh, there's some things that I feel diners need to know about. Very good, because we dine out much, much more than we used to years ago. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Years ago, it was a treat. Now we do it all the time. Right. Yeah. Uh, So uh, naturally, we know some of the big do's. Do tip. Uh, yes. Sometimes people forget that uh, <laughs> the service staff, uh, they get paid about $3 an hour. Right. And without those tips, they're basically paying to serve you. Yes. Because uh, they're still having to pay for taxes and things right. of that nature. And also, I heard tip more at breakfast because breakfast is usually less expensive. So to keep it even, you should yeah. tip more for breakfast. Uh, I haven't heard well, that. Uh, I haven't heard that one either. But, you know, you think about it, how many times they've come by, they've refilled your coffee. Right. Eggs and bacon is $4, right? Yeah. So tip a little more than you would because you're paying $4 for breakfast, but you're spending $20 for lunch. Well, and they woke up at the crack of dawn just to feed you and right. everything like that. So uh, I like that one. That's yeah. great. Right. Uh, and, you know, uh, use your best judgment. But definitely don't say, oh, okay, this 50-cent piece, this is going to be great for them they're going to be happy the coffee oh was a little gosh. too hot for my taste so i'm going to ding you on yeah, that there tip. You go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh and you know that's another thing don't blame them for exactly. something that the kitchen may have done you know don't blame them when kyle parks messed up <laughs> <laughs> it very rarely happens uh one of the big things that uh, bothers me is don't try to reinvent the menu per se and i'm not dogging her for saying no yes carbs you are clearly you know that was that 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 wasn't on the list till five minutes ago yeah yeah uh, that uh, that was some slight shade but that's okay <laughs> Uh, but don't reinvent the menu. I remember one day we had this lady. She came in. She said, can I have an egg white omelet? We didn't have an egg white omelet on the menu. She said, well, do you have eggs? Well, of course we do. Uh, do you have peppers and mushrooms? Well, of course we do. Can I have an egg white omelet? No, you may not. Uh, Good. And Stand ma- up to those customers. Well, the main reason is that it slows down the service to do things that uh, the kitchen isn't primed for. It's just making everybody's life more difficult. Other tables are going to suffer uh, mm-hmm. just so you can have your special meal. Right. Make your special meal at home. There you go. You know? That's actually good to know. Because, Look at that. You know, yeah, help I, out the cause. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right. What um, else you got? One of the big things that uh, bothers me, even just seeing it out, is uh, the big old snapping at oh, the, you that's know, the so staff. Oh, rude. Yeah. That uh, so oh, rude. you're not supposed to snap at people? No. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Just casually on the street as you're Do you really them. see people snap they at still their do staff? I nowadays. cannot believe that. Uh, garçon, uh, garçon. Yeah. <laughs> now, the garçon I like because I'd be like, ha, 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 parlez-vous français? Bonjour, bonjour. Yeah, exactly. You know, you can have fun Snapping with it. Snapping your finger, she'd be thrown out of the restaurant immediately. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, yes. The thing is, is that, uh, you know, in this industry, we recognize people as they come in. We know who the good diners are and who the are, uh, you know who right. who isn't. Uh, so it's very important to make sure that you leave a good impression. Yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. have uh, have some patience and, and be polite. All right, what mm-hmm. else you got? Uh, one of the big things nowadays is uh, is yelping. Uh, and I totally encourage people to do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, leave your feedback. It's great from my perspective to know what people liked, what they didn't mm-hmm. like, because uh, that's what I'll keep on the menu or things. That, yeah, but uh, Yelping's you know a scam change. because your competition will badmouth you on Yelp. Uh, absolutely. So we need the you know the people <laughs> to leave some positive uh, and you know constructive uh, criticism right. on top of all yeah. that. Uh, please, please do not let your children run around the restaurant like this yeah, is Kelly a daycare. Jackson. You know. <laughs> Yes. Uh, uh, it's, it's coming from one that's going to have one on the way. And I'm like, ah, even still, you Congratulations. know. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very yeah. much. I appreciate it. Muzzle. Uh, but uh, some other things to do. Uh, when you see things that are off-menu selections, uh, probably the chef put a lot of creativity, a lot of time, went out, got extra products. Order that stuff. That's, the specials, you mean. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. them, uh, you know, 
showcasing their talents. Yeah. You know, we hear special nowadays and you put specials on car tires, you know. Uh, so if you're looking for something cheap, you know, eh, you know, uh, maybe it's not. But uh, those are things that they, they That's a good really idea. want to showcase. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. Anything else you got? Uh, oh, I got things all day. I could go for <laughs> uh, two, go for two things. Two things. One, I've heard that when they ask you if you're if you're ordering a steak or something or a hamburger or something, and they say, "How would you like it cooked?" Sure. You're supposed to say chef's choice. Uh, absolutely. Uh, when it comes to salmon or you know even pork and stuff like that nowadays, they have an idea of the perfect temperature for that. Mm -hmm. uh, please don't order it well done. Uh, because that, and they, don't order ketchup when you're ordering a steak. You know, uh, but uh, if you want it cooked through, ask for it cooked through. Um, you know, and they'll do their best job to make sure that you have a taste. I've meal. never gone wrong when I've said chef's choice. Absolutely, never not. gone wrong. Uh, it yeah. puts a big smile on the chef's face, and they're gonna do an extra mm. good job. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then lastly, I've heard that when you're at a table, three, four, five people, and sometimes the food comes out. Um, first to somebody else at the table, sure. you don't have to wait for everyone to start eating. You know, I think that's a, a very outdated trend. Mm -hmm. um, I encourage people, especially uh, I did a party for 30 folks uh, last weekend, and I said, hey, it's going to come out in installments. You like each other. Eat. Yeah. You know? Right. Yeah. Uh, enjoy yes. the food while it's hot. Uh, don't sit there and take pictures for 15 minutes of it, you right, know, and then right. say, uh, my broccoli's cold. Right, of course exactly, right. Eat the food, right. <laughs> right it's, it's, it's awfully rude. For. It's, it, it's rude to the chef not to eat the food as soon as it's put in front of your plate. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Quick picks. Kyle Parks, how does somebody hire you to be uh, a chef for their next party? Uh, well, you can go on, uh, chefkyleparks.com, uh, reach me at chefkyleparks at gmail.com. Uh, and I'd be more than happy to construct menus around whatever you like. Yeah. I, and uh, where's the Cork and Slice? Uh, Cork and Slice is down at 4501 Maryland, uh, right off the uh, the heart of the, the Central West End near the Cathedral Basilica. Uh, always great stuff going on down there, so we'd love to have you. Cork mm -hmm. and Slice Wood Fired Bistro. It is one of the hottest restaurants in town, and uh, we won't ask you about that uh, TV show in development with the Food Network, but as soon as you <laughs> let us know, you we, will certainly, we will certainly pass that along. I love it. Uh, good stuff, Kyle. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. 845 here at Big 550 KTRS. This segment each and every week is sponsored Sponsored by our friends at Stefanina's Restaurant. Six area locations in St. Charles and in Chesterfield for a location and a full menu you want to, and or catering, you can go to Stefanina's. Go to stephspizza.com. That's stephspizza.com. The year 1981. People were getting physical with Olivia. Charles wed Diana. Luke married Laura. MTV first aired. The first space shuttle was launched. And the first Stefanina's restaurant opened in O'Fallon, Missouri with incredible pizzas, pastas, and salads created by Steph herself. Stefanina's has become a family tradition, still serving your favorite dishes in not one, but six locations, including their newest Stefanina's Express on Winghaven in the Lakeside Shops in O'Fallon. Check out their website at stephspizza.com for locations, menus, and special events. For lunch or dinner, dine-in, carry-out, or delivery, Stefanina's is sure to satisfy your entire family. Now with six locations, including the newest Stefanina's Express on Winghaven in the Lakeside Shops in O'Fallon. Since 1981, great food at prices a family can afford. It's Stefanina's. You were in a car accident. Fortunately, everyone is okay, but now comes the hassle of getting your car fixed. Where do you go? Who do you trust to do the job right and at a reasonable price? Ernie Patty Collision Center in South St. Louis, that's where. The goal with the folks at Ernie Patty is simple. Deliver the best repair product there is at an affordable price and to do it as quickly as possible so you're back in your vehicle in a timely manner. Ernie Patty Collision Center offers total collision repair, paintless dent removal, car restoration,